Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, we fought Leonard and got their seal. Now we're done with Brookhaven Hospital, and it's time to head back to the motel. Keeping in mind, I have no ammo for anything except a stun gun, so I'm going to be running a lot, I think. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. And kicked you. And made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. Understand. None of you do. So Vincent and Claudia are related somehow. Friends, brother and sister, something. How old is Claudia, by the way? I first read them as like 50 years old or something, but now after hearing their voice and thinking that they might be the sister of Vincent, maybe they're like late 20s, early 30s? I don't think they're nearly as old as I thought. Looks like the sun's setting, just based on the color. Is it? Well, <laughs> I guess we'll never see the sun. Too damn foggy. You know, a weird thing is... Being here, back in Silent Hill, on this very large map right here with all these different locations, makes me think that, like, okay, we're gonna have to visit a bunch of them, right? And there's quite a bit of the game left. But according to the How Long to Beat website, which gives you just, like, estimates based on user-submitted data for how long a game is, according to that, I should be basically done with the game right about now. So there can't be much left of it. Wait a second. Nathan Avenue. Oh, that's just a zoomed out version of this map. Yeah, so I'm like... Here. This shows you all this stuff. Oh, on the opposite side is Lakeside Amusement Park. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we ended the game there, given that we started the game there with that dream. Anyway. We gotta head back to the hotel. Yeah, let's take a different way there. Let's go this way and then left. I love the fog. Oh. Yeah, that checks out.
Looking for extra supplies. I could really use some ammo. Keep jumping down. We're at the gas station. Almost there. God, I kind of want to look around here for supplies, but I'm being chased. It's not going to stop me from just briefly looking. Okay. Nah. This isn't it. What is this place? It's not even marked. I guess it's just kind of like the backer side of Jack's Inn. I've been spotted. our room? 106. <sighs> oh. I thought it looked like they were in a hotel room. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? Oh, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? <laughs> That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh huh. Thanks. really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? <laughs> no. Vincent could just make up whatever shit they wanted and say that Douglas t said to tell you this. Can I not go back in there? I don't think I'll go back inside. I really should go to the amusement park. Oh. Okay. There's a save point in there. I was thinking it'd let me save. There's probably supplies around the town if you really look, but it's just so dangerous and so damn foggy. So just go up Nathan Avenue. Impressive. Oh wow, I'm actually really hurt. Oh, I forgot, I'm not only out of ammo, I'm pretty much out of healing items, I just have two ampules. Ooh, I just barely avoided that. Health drinks in the garbage? No. All 
Oh boy, this is familiar. Exactly as it was in the dream. Well, guess I know where to go then. Are the descriptions the same as well? Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? Okay, so that's different. very similar too. Is this the store again? Yeah, if everything's the same, then I'm not even gonna find any items. Wait a minute. Medkits? Okay, never mind. We can find stuff. Beef jerky? Most useless item in the game. But yeah, seriously, dear god. Give me stuff. I'm gonna meticulously scour this place. Do you think the gift shop sells, uh, handgun ammo? Oh my god, they do! worth using a medkit at yellow health? I think it is, actually. doing that and how are they doing it? Is it like the spirit of Alessa helping me out? The spirit of myself? I... I don't know. Oh, what's that? Roller coaster key. Nothing left in the cookie tin. The sweets seem to have fallen from the shelf and gotten crushed. This wasn't part of my dream. Yeah, it's very, very similar, but it's not the same. Oh, shit, ampule. Nice. Be so easy to miss stuff here. I probably already have missed stuff.
Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I need to use the key on this, I guess? Fuck, I guess I gotta use another med kit. Alright. Do these things like beef jerky? This was in a cookie jar. I always dreamed I'd have one of these. Can't use that here. Wait, what? Oh. I could have just used it. Ah, oh, okay. I think I just didn't get through the description before, before I got hit. Okay, this I couldn't go in before. What the hell is this? I feel like I'd catch something nasty if I touched it. Health drinks, yes. This must be some gadget to control a roller coaster. I don't know how to make it work, though. There's a power switch on the left-hand side. God, that noise is so loud in the background, I can barely hear myself think. The roller coaster control panel has been left on. Will you turn it off? Yes! So we're changing what was going to happen in our dream. Turn the power off and we won't be killed by the damn roller coaster. Okay. Let's see if I've gotten any better at running. It's really hard. No, I haven't really gotten any better. I'll just walk. Even though the turning is analog, and the movement is analog, which is really nice, it's surprisingly sensitive. Was supposed to happen? What would have happened if I left the power on? If it got turned on anyway? I hired you to find the girl, and you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens, yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. <laughs> you, you still don't understand.
You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. I love the voice acting for the detective. Also, paradise for castrated sheep, maybe? What? Booth? Nothing unusual about it. I really hope I get some serious ammo before the next boss fight, because it feels like I'm just about to fight a boss, and I have two magazines of pistol ammo, and a little bit of stun gun left. Looks like roots have taken over this wall. Probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. Oh, this is one of the rides? Something Haunted Mansion. Oh, great. Haunted Mansion. <laughs> wait, hold on. If that's where I'm supposed to go, then what's this way? Oh, just ends. Haunted Mansion. If you have a weak heart or may be pregnant, please refrain from entering. Any children under the age of eight must be accompanied by an adult. Just your typical warning on a ride, nothing to worry about, I guess. Okay, question I have. Do these letters have any importance? Awfully hard to look at them now. Oh, whoa. Jesus. 
If I can't look at them properly, then probably not. But yeah, there's like C and D, and then over here it said a couple other things. They're probably not important then. They're just like evidence markers for cri the crime scene. <laughs> That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Jeez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Just a doll sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll? Or is Danny that hanging thing? Oh well, whatever. This mansion is quite old. So please, watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I mean, I could see there's like a dark spot here, but I can't go around it. I can't jump. Let's go for it. Whoa. There's spikes on the ceiling. Uh. Hmm. Feeling like an insta-death place. Now, I'm thinking, do I run and risk the floor falling out but getting past the spikes? Or do I walk to maybe make it less likely that the floor falls out but then I might get impaled by the spikes anyway? I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Hmm. It's hard. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. It's hard to tell what's just nothing serious and part of the haunted mansion thing. And what's been added. 